the best thing that Richard Hart could do with that sacrificed money would be add liquidity, add more liquidity to Hex. Crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on guys, Bitcoin? Ah, oh, we're all gonna, we're doomed. Bitcoin 10K. Come on, man, come on. All right, so. I've been getting all kinds of people. When are you going to talk about Pulse Chain? When are you talking about Pulse Chain? All right, I'm going to give you my thoughts on Pulse Chain and what I think would be the most effective strategy behind it with um, with this all this sacrificed funds because they have to go somewhere, right? The, the sacrificed funds have to go somewhere. So, um, first, let's cover the Pulse Chain. Uh, sacrifice. Me personally, and this is not FUD, so before you go jumping around at me, I'm not doing the Pulse Chain Sacrifice for many reasons from a game theory standpoint. I don't I don't think there's a problem with it. I don't think Richard Hart's going to rug. It's not financial advice. Um, but I, I, I have different thoughts on that. Um, First and foremost, there's like $350 million already in the sacrifice. So do the math, do the math. So do I think the output, will there be a billion dollars? Let's say he collects a billion dollars. Will there be a billion dollars of liquidity for Pulse Chain? I don't think so, I don't think so. So unless you have secondary market FOMO, which you could, you know, you have to look at based on the risk of the input you know, is the output worth the risk? And my thoughts are, you know, Hex did 10,000 X or 300,000 percent or whatever, right? Do I think Pulse Chain will do that initially? No, because if they collect a billion dollars, 10,000 X is $10 trillion. <laughs> so no, I don't, I don't think. So yeah, so I don't think the that Pulse Chain is gonna be t they're gonna go to ten trillion dollars initially. Um, so that's number one. I don't I don't think the upside of Pulse Chain, based on the sacrifice initially, especially when we have negative market sentiment, um, is gonna be is gonna outpace is gonna outpace what it's actually worth. Now, with that being said. What do I think the play is then as far as Hex and Pulse Chain? Well, like I said, I'm not gonna do the sacrifice. Um, Hex is definitely up, but you know, I think the best thing that Richard Hart could do with that sacrificed money would be add liquidity, add more liquidity to Hex add more liquidity to hex. And the reason the reason I think that is because you need you need that money to transact. Imagine like a garage sale, you have to have x amount of cash in your cash box to do, you know, x amount of transactions. So like looking on Uniswap USDC, I think it was like I don't know, 7 million dollars in hex liquidity. I mean, one whale could wipe and I talked about this in hex rect. I'm not saying people haven't made money, so don't don't get that confused, okay? I'm just saying there's inherent risk, okay? So imagine a whale, I mean, could just wipe out the Uniswap liquidity very quickly if they wanted to, okay? So we have that established. Um, and what is the big disadvantage of Hex is the fact that you, the stakes it makes it hard for micro investors to get into the staking because of the Ethereum fees. So I think PHEX, um, I actually had stated this earlier that I will definitely consider doing um, some stakes in HEX when, P, when we have PHEX and you can do it on the Pulse chain. Um, Cause I missed out on that. Um, I do believe there'll 
you know, there could be a dip, but it really, it really doesn't matter. Cause I mean, if hex goes to a dollar, $2, $3, um, you know, it's not going to matter. Um, you know, and realistically how this thing is set up, the biggest risk factor is liquidity. Like if you did a ratio of liquidity to the number of coins out there, you know, to really supercharge and run up hex to that next level, I really do believe you need more liquidity. And I think a really good use of that sacrifice funds would be to add that liquidity to um, hex. So we'll see what he does with it because I think ultimately the prize in all this is going to be hex. It's going to be hex. It's not necessarily going to be pulse chain. Um, you know, we have several layer two solutions and the farm started this and that, you know, it, it is what it is. Now, could you be stuck in stakes in a bear market? Yeah, you could, but that sets a great, uh, cash flow system for when the bull comes back in. Now, I'm not saying we're, we're in a bear market yet, but I'm saying if the sentiment continues the way it's going, um, you know, we can see a big, big drawdown, big, big drawdown. I mean, if Hex dipped down, um, I would definitely be picking up a stack of it. But yeah, I think that uh, Paul's chain is gonna be successful. I just don't know initially the output of the sacrifice is going to be equal to the value of the chain um, unless people just hodl and cause FOMO. Now, that is possible because the whales, if the whales hold the floor, um, you know, they could, they could make people FOMO into Pulse Chain and wish they had gotten into the sacrifice, but um, it's kind of my thoughts. So. Hope you liked today's video. Tell me what you're doing with Paul's Chain. Are you getting in? Uh, like, subscribe. This is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking games, then we're not talking.